Hey guys, this is Martin for Tech Vlog Pool, and today I would like to compare uh, three speakers from Kef the X300A Wireless, the Q100, and the LS50. Alright, so let's get to it. We have here three uh, sort of similar speakers from Kef. Uh, they are at various price points. Uh, in Europe, these come at around 1,000 uh, euros. These are for about 500 euros. Of course, we're talking per pair. And these come, again, for around uh, 1,000 euros. Now, of course, the X300A uh, wireless, they come in a different version without the wireless uh, suffix. They come at around 800 euros. Uh, so what are, what are the differences? What are the differences uh, in size and and in sound especially. So first of all, you can see they are very similar. They all have the same size of, uh, of drivers and tweeters. Uh, I think, or I believe, both of these have the same driver, but despite having the same driver, they sound quite differently. And of course the LS50 has uses a different a different material for the driver and as you can see over here uh, it's reinforced so uh, it's a little bit more stiffer now let's talk about the sound uh, I have to say I've been listening to all three of these extensively over the past couple of days uh, both close range and also uh, in a normal living room setting on stands and um, I have to say that Kef has really managed uh, to change the sound um, of basically the same driver when they when they moved it from the Q100s to the uh, X300As. Uh, so how do they sound? Um, well if you know uh, the sound of LS50s uh, they are in a league of their own. Uh, their their bass is, is is fuller. Um, their their highs are silky smooth, uh, and really their sound improves with every step up in um, amplification. So the better the better the amplifier that you buy, the better the cabling, the better the better the source. Uh, their sound really improves with each of those steps. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, the Q100s uh, do too, of course. Every speaker, if you, you know, improve uh, the, the other components, their sound improves, but not as much. Uh, the Qs, their, their bass is not as solid, and their highs are not as smooth. Uh, probably the, the, the biggest difference in sound between the X300As and the Q100As, uh, when you listen in in a normal setting, let's say uh, six to nine feet uh, distance, uh, the Q100s they they make the music sound more open, as if wider than the speakers themselves, and the music also comes uh, in front of you. A lot more, so it's more, more, more direct. Uh, the highs they are more lively, and uh, however, the bass doesn't seem as solid as with the X three hundreds. I think uh, the, the 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 case is a little bit stiffer uh, as uh, with the Q one hundreds. Now the X three hundreds, when you put them on the stand and set the setting to stand. Uh, compared to the Q100s, uh, the sound is not as wide, the sound stage seems a little bit compressed just in between the speakers. So with the Q100s, to me, the sound, sounded, the, the sound stage sounded more wider uh, and narrower with the X300s. Um, also with the Q100s, I felt the music came more towards me, whereas with the X300s, I felt the music was had more depth beyond the speakers. 
but not so much music was in front of the speakers, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's really hard to compare any of these to the LS50s because, um, yeah, they, they just have a lot more resolution and uh, they just come a lot more alive and they're just more convincing, I would say. Uh, however, very important factor is these speakers were made for close range. Yeah, so you can switch them to, to stands. They were meant for close range. So when I was listening to, to all of these uh, next to my iMac, uh, I have to say both LS50s and Q100s, they became quite tiring after after a couple of hours, but not so with the X300As. Um, they just seem to be sort of equalized a little bit differently. Because the soundstage didn't, I mean, it was compressed between the speakers, and because their their highs are not as lively, I wouldn't say sparkly, not as lively as with the, with the Q100s, uh, they were just easier to listen to and they just seem like a better fit for a right computer. Um, so yeah, for me personally, if I were to choose a close range monitor out of these three, I would definitely go with the X300s. But if I were to use a speaker for a living room or let's say a music room, uh, not so much. Um, yes, even though the Q100s don't have as uh, solid bass. Uh, their sound just sounds more and more open and, uh, and more lively and we really feel the music coming towards you and that's something that I really like. Uh, so yeah, uh, I hope you uh, like this comparison. I'm sure there is a lot more to talk about but uh, you, can, you can see that they are actually pretty close as far as uh, size goes. Uh, as regards to, uh, to depth, the Q100s are the deepest. They are about five centimeters deeper than the X300s and about three or four centimeters deeper than the LS50s. Actually, the LS50s and X300s <coughs> have quite a similar depth. <coughs> uh, as regards to how tall they are, of course, you can see that the Q100s are the, the, the tallest. Uh, one last thing, uh, out of these three, only the cues are front firing, so uh, that also means that they are much easier to use when quite close uh, to the back of a wall. So uh, if, you, if you would put uh, the LS50s or the X300s close to the wall, their, their bass would be just too boomy. Uh, actually, out of the three speakers, I have to say the LS50s require uh, the most careful placement. They really come alive if you give them a lot of room. So if you put them on solid stands and you give them plenty of room to the sides, uh, and uh, behind the speaker, that's when they really sound their best. Uh, the Q100s, they they are even fine if you put them close to a wall. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty much. All right, guys, this has been a comparison of the three Kev speakers: the X300A wireless, the Q100, and uh, the LS50. There is one speaker missing from the Kips range, uh, which uses this size of UniQ, and that is the R100, uh, but unfortunately I didn't have that at disposal, but maybe next time. Thank you for watching.